So we got four different types of clients, customers uh, that you'll experience in the business world, like myself in the barbershop world, in the barbering industry, the hair industry. So I'm gonna break those down right now. Number one is gonna be the cheap client. Now even when I think about the cheap client, I just don't, I don't have a very good feeling about the cheap client. You know, that's the client that's gonna be asking for the discount, they're gonna be asking for the promotion or whatever it may be, anything that they can do to really save a nickel, save a dime. Now don't get me wrong, everyone likes discount, everyone likes, uh, for the most part, everyone uh, likes um, a bonus or a discount off of the regular price. They feel like there's a sale, they feel like, wow, I'm saving money, I'm doing good for my, my finances. But for the most part, cheap clients, you don't wanna be a cheap client, you wanna stay away from the cheap clients. If you're like me, I don't like dealing with cheap people. I don't like being cheap myself. I like, I like quality. I've learned over the years that you know, saving the dollar or whatever the case may be, whether it be buying a comb or clippers or anything, you name it, uh, uh, a barber chair in my case, or a towel to take a shower, you know that the cheap and then the premium version, there's a huge difference and there is a reason why there's a difference in price. So keep that in mind, you know that if I go buy a cheap towel from Family Dollar for like two bucks, it's only gonna last you for so long, it might fall apart. But if I go get a premium uh, towel from maybe one of the you know higher end towel makers, manufacturers, you know that that towel is gonna last you long, it's gonna soak up all the water better, it's just gonna last you a long time, it won't wear out or wear thin over, over time. So don't be cheap. Stay away from cheap clients, don't be cheap. Number two is going to be the negative client. This is kind of really along the lines of the cheap client. They probably go hand in hand together. Probably have a really good time together <laughs> if these two clients like hung out or something. However, the, the negative client, that's, that's the client that's going to be uh, very, very pessimistic about your prices, about your services, uh, they're going to complain a lot. They're really not going to be positive. They're just going to be negative. And these are people really that you want to stay away from. And especially in the business world, these are people you don't want to deal with. Maybe if you're starting up your business and you're trying to raise money, you may have to deal with these clients for a little while, the cheap and the negative. But after a while, and if you really don't want to, you don't have to do anything you don't, you don't want, to, want to do. We live. In, in, in a free country, in a free world where you don't have to do anything you do not want to. You're, you're, we're not, you know, you're not enslaved, you're not, you're free. So if you're a negative client, stop being a, neg a negative client and be a better client. Be a quality client, please. Number three. Number three is gonna be the sophisticated, the educated client. That's a client that is going to have the money They'll have knowledge, they know what they're doing, but they're gonna take their time. They may do some research, they may take a little while, maybe especially when it comes to buying a vehicle, a car, you know, they have the money, they have the down payment, they have the good credit, but they wanna wait. They wanna get more input, maybe from someone else about a certain car, whether it be a Honda, whether it be a Jeep, whether it be a Cadillac, you name it. It could be a big purchase, it could be a little purchase. But these clients are gonna take their time, they're gonna research, they're gonna touch, they're gonna feel, and they'll buy. But these are clients, these are more on the, on the quality end of clients that me personally, I would wanna deal with. These are also clients that not only, not only are they educated and they are sophisticated, but these are clients that you can actually teach and help and they're, they're actually open to receiving more information because they know that the more that they know, uh, the better, the better educated they are, uh, the better for them. Now you got number four. Number four is the, the affluent customer or client. This is the, the person that uh, mainly buys off emotion, uh, price and discounts 
and being educated about the item. Not really very, very important to them. Uh, the reason for that is because these affluent customers, they have the money, they, they already know what they're buying, and even if they don't know what they're buying so much, because they like it, they're running based off of their emotions, they like it, they see it, they want it, they're gonna get it. There's no questions asked. They are going to buy that service or item just like that. So in conclusion, number one, you have the cheap client. Don't be that client. Please don't be that client. Number two is gonna be the uh, negative client. Don't be that client either. Number three is going to be the sophisticated, the educated client. And number four is the affluent client. Well, I like to promote people and inspire people not to be negative, not to be cheap, but to be sophisticated, to be educated, to be affluent. Someone who is uh, an advocate of quality and the premium items in life, just because, you know, cheap will only take you so far. And if you have a cheap mindset, it's just your outlook in life is very cheap and it's, it's minimal. But you have a, if you have a premium outlook on life, uh, you have a premium mindset. You have a premium mindset, you have a more appreciation towards life. So I encourage people to be premium, have an excellent mindset, and appreciate the finer things in life. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and until the next video.